Hi to everyone and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website using the website building platforms, this video is definitely for you because it's much more easier. It's much more faster to build your own personal site or landing page for any purposes of your own or your business purposes. Definitely, it's much more easier and better. So, in this video, I want to provide you with an all information that you'll need to use to build your own landing page using this fantastic platform that is very and very powerful and very fast and very reliable because we made a lot of projects on uh, this platform and that's why I want to share this information with you. Before I started to show you all the things, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get that link and jump to this platform straight away from this video so first step that you need to take of course you need to decide to open your business and to build your own landing page for some of purposes the second step is to find the link in the description panel of this video and press that link and jump to platform and start a free trial let's press that button and you see the platform asks you to uh, choose the plan one of uh, one of those 27 bucks per month 59 per month or 239 per month it's billed annually uh, if you pay monthly it's a little bit a little bit more and it's worth noting uh, so the point is if you have a small business of course you need one side uh, it, it's better to use the 27 dollars plan but you have a 14 day trial absolutely free and you can build up everything uh, during this 14 days and if you will not be satisfied with the result you can switch the plan off at any time I created the new account to show you all the processes and how the platform looks from inside and that's what I want to show you right now okay this is the dashboard of uh, this fantastic platform and all we need to do is to decide landing page or sites we are talking about the landing pages but actually all the editing features are pretty the same and that's why we're pressing create new landing page and you jump into the section with the ready templates that already pre-built and you just need to customize them a little bit that's why uh, you can sort it by page type you can sort it by industry maybe your business is in home and services and you will find related template and use that one but actually it doesn't matter for this case i just want i don't want to make this video one hour long and to show you uh, that i'm building a website landing page for my own business i just want to show you all the editing features that are pretty the same and in the end of this video you'll get an idea of how to make it by yourself and you'll understand that it's very fast and easy and like in couple clicks first of all you need to give your page a name let it be pizza for example and we have a simple template here we have just small layout you see coming soon for example uh i will show you the pizza thing and i'll explain how the editor looks from inside so all you have is the name of your uh, name of your website you can get back lead matter this is fantastic tool that shows how your web page will convert your visitors to customers it's excellent uh, for now and uh, while you will change make some changes to your site uh, it will be less or more so you need to take care about this lead matter to uh, fill up all these four four parts preview this button you can find out how your website uh, uh, will be visible to um, different platforms to different types of devices all the websites all the landing pages in this platform are absolutely mobile friendly and adoptable so let's talk about all those buttons layout sections widgets styles and settings 
you need to understand that main purpose of any landing page is to get customers information get the visitors information to bring them uh, all those visitors to customers uh, as soon as possible and uh, any landing page or any site built up with a sections what does it mean we have a hero section here we have a footer here's the hero section here's the footer and here's company name privacy policy and so on uh, you can add some sections if you need some uh, different types of sections want to show you like about section uh, call to action and contact us for example FAQs hero logos of the companies that you're working with and so on and so on and if you didn't found the uh, template of section you can use blank and you see there's a lot of them also uh, this one is simple you can click on it to add this to your layout or you can drag and drop to those spots where you see drop here let's drop it here the next step is to add widgets what are those you can see that there's tons of them and actually if you will press show less you see that all this uh, those eight is pretty enough to build up your landing page so how it works for example here you need the text here you need the image and here you need the button on this spot that's simple as one two three okay you have all this vertical blue lines and for example you need to be your video to be bigger and you need your uh, this section this columns let's say like that to be the such shape all the editing features happening with this pencil button on each of elements on each of elements you can find that so how to manage the section itself you need to press the three dots button here and you can add its section settings you can add section above or below you can duplicate copy or delete it let's jump to edit section settings you see that there is color there's no color actually and this is the color of background and it lays on styles you see page background here let's switch it off and here you go let's jump to layout let's go back and you see hero blank when you press it on it you can see how much columns here you have you can add column or row straight from this spot and that's how you build up your infrastructure let's press that you see the footer and we have one more blank page that under the footer and we need to grab it on this six dot button we just grab it and moving to the spot where we need this uh this section to be we can apply as i showed you we can apply in styles the color of background of entire page or we can add an image and in that case we'll get the fantastic parallax effect you'll scroll the picture and the, the you'll scroll the website the landing page and the picture will be um, on the bottom and you'll get the parallax effect just uh, okay we go into edit this section and you see the background of each section you can find in the uh, editing features of each section uh, if we're talking about the pizza let's change an image to pizza you can use images that you uploaded previously you can buy images for example from here from this spot straight away you can buy a picture that will suit to your pizza shop pizza cafe we will not buy uh the pictures of course for this case i'm gonna upload it straight from my computer let's choose this one picture for example and you see it's pretty white the picture itself is pretty white and we can add some filter to it 
using the image color overlay pressing here we add a new color and let it be dark black and you see everything is dark black but we changed the opacity and the picture is still there you can see it and the text is visible right now you can apply any color that you want uh, you can change the padding minimum height of this section is full uh, for example we need it to be smaller or automatically shaped 75 of course i need it to be full because this is the first page any element that you can see you can delete straight from here with this small trash can button and here you go here you go everything is pretty tasty it's coming soon i don't like this spacer here we have some elements here yeah okay all right so if you want to add some element you just go into widgets and for example we need the spacer here yeah and you see the spots where you can place it drop here and that's it and you can move it as you want so the spacer or line i need the line to be here i need to change the shape of the line for white cool you see that's pretty that's pretty easy to manage all the things and you can drag and drop widgets as i showed you let's add it section setting and let's apply some tasty color from maybe this one you see everything is is pretty changeable and you can get absolutely total customization of your uh of your landing page and it's gonna be as you want yeah the things can be as you want recent colors very useful and you see everything is super great widgets maybe video and maybe some button here like order now or some else drop in here and we can move this button around to delete the section you need to just press that small button subscribe for updates uh, you need to understand that any landing page is about to get the contact information so what's gonna happen when somebody will press this physical button you need to edit the click event what's gonna happen you're gonna open a pop-up calendar pop-up jump to a page section like about for example link to landing page and link to external page in most cases this is the pop-up and you can edit the pop-up straight from here you can see all the things here the text you can shape by double click uh, on the text and it's pretty easy you can change the color and so on and so on uh, you can change the text itself i will not change it uh, but the most important part of that is edit integrations and let's jump here first thing is how you'll get notification about your new customer about the uh, new lead that jumped to your website you can get information straight from the platform to your email account that you fulfilled within the registration or you can add an integration and use external service of email marketing like ConvertKit, GetResponse, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign and so on and so on or you can connect everything with the Zapier and uh, Google Sheets for example or, or some other uh, some other like Sandex, Sandy Blue and a lot of tools you have here to integrate your page with and that's the way how you'll get notifications what are those notifications actually you see that only email address is here we need to add a field like a first name done and we need it to be in the first spot first name and email you can add a field like phone number postal code or some else information that you need but first name and email is pretty enough uh, maybe the phone number if you want to call um, to your customers but less less fields more clients actions what's gonna happen when somebody will fulfill this all forms and will send it to you uh, 
um, you can use default lead pages, thank you page, landing page, external URL or remain on page. Or you can add a lead magnet if you say to your visitors, to your customers, something about, uh, please give us your email and we're gonna send you some useful information, free value, um, like checklist or some, some else lead magnet and you can add this file right here. So we're jumping out their layout sections widget styles as the page where you can where you can like change all the font styles entirely for uh, for your entire page you can change it here and all the fonts will be changed instantly you can change the favicon and so on and the settings is the most important part of this uh editor actually SEO, definitely you need your website to be visible to search engine machines, or if you don't want that to happen, you can click here. I don't want search engines to index this page uh, like this flag small, but I suggest you to be visible to search engine machines because a lot of people searching stuff in the internet. Uh, so as your preview, as your page title, as your page description and keywords, you need to uh, fulfill all those social if you want to share your landing page to Facebook or Instagram or some other social media, you need to choose an image that will describe your business here, uh, social URL, social page title, and so on and so on. Analytics. If you want to be visible to search engine machines, you need to get the analytics of how many people uh, jump to your uh, landing page, how many people uh, got out, um, um, and so on and so on. Yeah, all the statistics. Google Analytics tracking ID, you can switch it on here and you can switch on the Facebook pixel, also very useful tool, and the language, actually, this language. So when you're ready to go live with your website, when everything is built up, you can just press you can just press publish uh, and change the domain and change the, all the things that you have in the next step. But as I told you, I want to make this video as short as possible. I highlighted all the things that you need to know about how to build your own landing page. And that's, as for me, that's very useful information. And if you consider this video as useful, please don't forget to click like don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, switch on the ring bell not to miss all our new videos and of course don't forget that all useful links are under this video in the description panel be our guest we working especially for you thank you so much for watching this video till the end hope you enjoyed see you in the next one bye bye